Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. Thank you for having me. My name is Beatriz, and I'm presenting you an imposter about the characterization of Lisbon population in the 18th century. Who were they? Let's find out. This work began in 2004, when excavations carried out on the pavement of the southwest wing of the Academy of Science of Lisbon needed to be interrupted due to an archaeological finding of articulated remains. Later, these remains were attributed to the 1755 Lisbon earthquake. It is important to notice that uh, the diverse ethnicities and cultures were presented in Lisbon at that time, since the city has been long known for its important role in the route of India, and since the slave trade in Portugal reached its peak at the same time. So it was expected that the Osari include individuals from different origins. This way, our aim was using dental morphology characteristics to assess geographic population concerning the Lisbon society of the 18th century. To reach our goal, we analyzed 1,423 teeth using uh, the Arizona State uh, University Dental Anthropological System developed by Turner and Scott and Adi one as shown in picture one, as you can see an example of the application of this anthropological system. Um, from this sample, we, um, from this sample, the breakpoints described by the same authors in 2018 were applied to the classification, obtaining a dictum key presenting absent NH morphological characteristics to be used in a web-based software of the anthropological system indeed. As you can see in figure two, this is the software use uh, and for not presenting enough characteristics, we could not use the whole sample. So uh, we use only eight characteristics of 34 specimens, seven skulls and 27 jaws uh, to assess the individual's ancestry. Passing out now to the results, using the methods of biodistance from breaker artist and Euclidean distance matrix, clusters analysis was uh, were used to generate the endograms, as you can see. Here, we just analyzed the Euclidean distance matrix applied to Portuguese, to Portuguese sample. Uh, as you can see in figure three and figure four, the Portuguese sample is closest to India with a value of 0 0.7 to one. As you can see, if you please zoom in in figure three. Can you please zoom in in figure three? So you can see the um, Euclidean distance matrix. Uh, can you repeat again? I, I'm not can you please zoom in in the figure okay. three so we can see um, the figures? Yes. Yeah, yes, that's what, the figure three. Yeah, yeah just, just a second, just a second. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so you need to tell me where I need to focus. Figure. Yeah, you can focus there. Yeah, that area where you were with uh, figures three, four, and five, it's okay. That's where I'm speaking now. Is it fine? Yes, it is. Thank you. So as you can see in the Euclidean distance matrix, uh, as, you, as I was saying, uh, Portugal is closest to India, followed by Western Europe and Eastern Europe. And the furthest population is uh, South America with 1.868. Uh, the same results can be seen in the three uh, joint uh, base. Can you please uh, just pass to figure four? Yes, uh, a little bit more. Thank you so much. As you can see in figure four, Portugal is closest to India, as I, as I was saying, followed by Western and Eastern Europe, and the farthest is South America. Uh, the three base break artist values showed the same kind of results organization with Portugal, closest to Western Europe, followed by India and Eastern Europe. Um, so the results were similar. Now passing out to the figure five, if you may, please. Yeah, this graphic here. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Um, the obtained by a geographic distribution uh, of the 1755 populations, you can see that in green, 73% belonging to Western Eurasia, followed by Sub-Saharan Africa and non-Arctic American with the same percentage, and the small percentage belonging to American Arctic and East Asia. You can see that these two biogeographical groups were not represented in the sample, so that's the reason why they are not in the pictures. Uh, the obtained results were uh, phylogenetically compatible. You can take the zoom if you want. <laughs> I just I don't need it anymore. Uh, the obtained results were phylogenetically compatible with the 18th century Lisbon society on both individuals and group level. The Portuguese sample is most tied to is most tied to Western Eurasia. However, uh, there were ancestries or other ancestries in the sample, such as Sub-Saharan Africa and India, due to non-European migrants in Portugal, along with African slaves, to Brazil, uh, to reach his peak in the Considering that Portugal is a part of Western Europe, and Western Europe is including in Eurasia, in Western Eurasia, and so is uh, Asiatic Indies, the results are in agreement with the diagrams present in other literatures. Thank you for having me. I hope you enjoyed.